All right, we're back in the gym today with another training video. Today, we are going to be training shoulders and calves. And before we go any further, let's just get it out of the way. Yes, I'm burnt. And if you guys don't know why, it's because I went on a fishing trip this week. And if you haven't seen the video, it's right here. Anyway, other than that, guys, I'm excited to be back in the gym for another training video for you all. We're gonna include a couple tips in this video. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. Let's, uh, let's go hit some calves and, and shoulders. So I get asked all the time about calves, how to grow calves. People say, oh, I train calves all the time, they won't grow. Is it genetics, is it this, is it that? Well, there is a genetic component, there is a consistency with the training of any body part, but what I've noticed for myself is that the tempo might be one of the most important aspects of training calves. If you're just up and down, up and down, really fast tempo, and doing a ton of reps, even if you're doing a ton of weight and not so many reps, and you're going really fast with the repetitions, I've noticed myself that the calves just won't grow as, as much as if you slow the tempo down and you really make it burn, especially on that most stretched position. So as you're watching me do these um, sets, every rep I'm trying to go very control, controlled and a little bit slower than what I would really like to go so I can get the most out of every single rep. <laughs> Sometimes it's just a headphone day, bro. You don't always get to choose in this life. Win and lose in this life. But I'm gonna prove in this life. We can move in this life. Can't change up. My team too real, so we stay young. Yeah, this is our year. Can't change up. My team too real, so we stay young. Yeah, this is our year. Can't change up. My team too real, so we stay young. Yeah, this is our year. Can't change up. On the ride back when we were about to finish up fishing, you know, I put my legs up on the back and I just took a nap. 30 minute boat ride. I'm all burnt through here. <laughs> <laughs> that sun's no joke. We had a dream and we'll get it, can't change up. My team too real, so we stay young. Yeah, this is our year, can't change up. My team too real, so we stay young. Yeah, this is our year, yeah. Can't stop, won't stop. My squad on top. Day one wrist watch. See that wellness girl, that wellness girl over there? Yeah. I don't know if she's bikini or wellness, but uh, did you see her walk by? I saw her. Oh my gosh, man. You gonna shoot your shot? Yeah, you think, you think she'll talk to me? Oh, she, oh, she spotted me. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this is how you do it. Yeah. Hey, uh, 
Can I get a spot over here? On the cactus. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> hey, I think that went pretty good. Okay. Strike one. Turn down. We got two more strikes. Full route. One more seated calf raise. Uh, we did five sets with the first exercise, four sets with this one, and we'll do a couple sets standing. Uh, we're gonna do it a certain way that's not my typical standing calf raise, uh, and that'll be done for calves. Cool? Sounds good. Okay. Oh man. Ho. Doesn't take a lot of weight, man. So now that we're switching from calves to shoulders, I had to get my shoulders warmed up. I can't just go right into heavy weight even though I'm amped up, ready to go. I mentally want to keep going and go straight into the heavy stuff, but I need to take it easy and remember that I got done working my calves, not my shoulders. So take it easy, a few sets, get warmed up, and we'll be right into throwing around some weight. Stop me. <laughs> Why does your tricep look so good right now? When you're working out shoulders. I don't know, man. Couldn't tell you. Been uh, trying to get them to grow. Trying to get everything to grow. Even trying to get my hair to grow. You know what I'm saying? I think trying to you get should. my height to grow. <laughs> I think you should bring back your high school hair. Oh yeah, the beaver cut? The beaver cut. It was like a beaver mullet. Jealous then. Should Derek grow back the beaver cut? Yes. How about this? Actually, no. For the first time he cut his beaver hair. So, the first time Derek cut his hair, we went, we went to the hair salon together, right babe? 
and he was like looking at me and he's like what should I do and I was like just cut it all off <laughs> and his face was so scared yeah <laughs> but uh it. that's how I got it though with the hair yeah I was like just cut it all off and uh we went down to uh like a four on the clippers Ooh. and I was like it was a four, then a three, then a two. And I'm like, just give me a skin fade. But, all right, one more set. I'm gonna do like a drop set here, okay? stronger but it's okay I feel like this is like the start of um, kind of what's to come because like I said like I got sick for a few days and um, scaled the training back for a week or two so I was like I don't want to call it a restart because it's not like I'm starting over I've been training the whole time so I can't say that I just think that um this is a good mental note of where I am now and I know where I need to be and I know where I want to be. So, um, yeah, not bad. Just gonna get better. So another tip for you guys, shoulders this time. Um, I don't know if it's as much of a tip as it is a preference. But I always like to make sure when warming up my delts that I start with the middle delt, right? Again, I start very lightweight, something that's very comfortable. Then I move to like a moderate weight, then I moderately heavy weight, and then I start getting into my working sets. Um, but definitely with the shoulders, I usually almost like 90% of the time I like to do dumbbell side lateral raises or some sort of variation of side laterals whether it be on the cable machine or if they have like a side lateral um, raise machine. But uh, doing the middle delt for me, first of all, gives more of that capped delt. So it, gives, it has the illusion that the shoulders are wider and broader, as well as it just seems to be one of the best um, things to warm up the entire shoulder. Sometimes if I don't do that, I'll either start with the front or the rear delts and then move from, let's say, front to back or back to front. In most cases, I will do middle delt, front delt, rear delt.
Let's move on. Let's finish up with uh, one more delt movement, but this doesn't just target the shoulders. It's actually just target a little bit of the back too. So why is this important and why are we wanting to train it if it's shoulder day? Well, the mu some of the muscles that are in the back, such as the rhomboids and the traps, are going to help stabilize the shoulder, which is going to help improve shoulder training. And today, we're picking three exercises per body part, being the calves and the shoulders. And we did, we started off with the middle delt, moved to the front delt, and now we're gonna do the rear delts. But this is gonna also hit, again, the middle delt and part of the traps and the rhomboids in the back. So let's go ahead and finish off with uh, face pulls. And I like this uh, handle much better than like a rope. You can use a rope too or different, you know, you can even use like a fixed bar, but I prefer this longer, um, these longer handles here. And that, that way you can just kind of move, you know, freely rather than being you know, stuck in one position or with the rope being too short. I really like this here. When you combine two muscle groups together, usually you're in the gym a little longer. Have you noticed that? <laughs> yeah. Like on arm day, for example, we do biceps and triceps. It's always like a two hour workout, you know? It's an hour yeah. and a half to two hours, but it's never like an hour and 15 or an hour workout. You know, if we just pick like one muscle, like the chest or just the shoulders or even back, you can get it in relatively fast. Um, but when you put like calves and shoulders, biceps and triceps, back and triceps, chest and biceps, whatever it is, put two muscle groups together, you're always in here for like two hours. You know? Yeah. So that's why like on, on prep, a lot of times what I'll do is, if I have two muscle groups that I want to train, a lot of times what I'll do is like, for example, shoulders and calves, I'll train shoulders midday, get a post-workout meal and maybe another meal in, and then I'll go train calves later in the evening. So it'll be like cardio, couple meals, Shoulders, couple meals, calves, meal, bed. So the first ones I was trying to hold like this and do more of like a Y movement. Um, I'm not saying they were perfect, but that's what I was going for. And then as I got tired, I did like another five where I, I transitioned from my hands from here to there and just pulled back, um, leading with my elbows kind of. All right guys, that's it for the workout. We are gonna go run home real quick, change, and then have a clean sheet meal tonight. I won't tell you what yet, but it's gonna be good. We shall see what kind of cheat meal it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Hey, Trev. What's up? Yo, what's, what's up? What's up? All what's right. Going on? So you got a you got a salad for your cheat meal? Yes, this is, maybe this is yours. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's yours. Yes. That's cheese. your cheat meal. Was the cheat meal a joke? <laughs> I get an olive. <laughs> I, guess, it. I think they have a pit in them. <laughs> <laughs> what is this place? What are we eating? It's a Persian restaurant. It's our favorite place. And it's called Le Mirage. Oh, like, oh. like in French, yeah. Oh, I've been saying Le Mirage. <laughs> Wait, so how are you supposed to say it? Le Mirage. Le Mirage? Le Mirage. Le Mirage. Le Mirage. You gotta roll your arm like Le Mirage. Le Mirage. <laughs> Le Mirage. <laughs> Mirage. 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 Nah. Mirage. You know what I'm gonna say? Come on, man. Try it. Mirage. Persian. People make fun of me for saying Persian like Persian. People make fun of me for saying gluten. You say like, like, so the intensity like a Persian. How do we get addicted to Persian? 
He ate it with Hani and Hadi in California. And from that moment, this is like my favorite food now. But it's like guilt free, you know? It's like perfect bodybuilding food. <laughs> Okay. So it's like a cheat meal, but not really a full-on cheat meal, you know? Because it's clean. How clean? Well, this has gluten in it, apparently. <laughs> Shoot, I forgot to take this. Wow. almost forgot. This one's not open. Mm-hmm. Might be on a cherry. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> that looks good. We should all try that. You want to try some? Just drink some water. She does that to me, too. <laughs> That's why when we were picking seeds, she sat there and I'm like, I'm gonna go over I'm there. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, well, now we'll I get you a new water. I need a new glass. Yeah, I'll drink both of that. And I wonder who's, <laughs> I wonder who this is. <laughs> <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> Joe. That's me, thank you. <laughs> sorry guys. I'm a messy eater. So wait, what is all this? This is Kuba Day. Kuba Day? So this is beef. Okay. And then this is the filet. Mm -hmm. And then this is the chicken. And it's so good. I take one of these. And then put the meat in it? Yeah, like this, like a steak. Like a sandwich. Look at it, you know what? Ooh, Sam, that looks good. That looks yummy. Mm -mm -mm. I'm snagging this whole, whole Go bad for boy. it. Let's see that plate. Appetizer. It's loaded up. It's the appetizer. Appetizer. You comfy? Oh yeah. <laughs> I got my other leg over there. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much. All right. You want to see a pro tip? This is a pro tip. You were asking earlier, remember? So give the people more pro tips. That's right. Fold Make it the up. Persian food as American as possible. Sandwich. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> you, pro tip. you know what I would add to your pro tip? Mustard. Double double wrap that pita. Ooh. Double wrap it. Make it even more like a sandwich. Ooh. <laughs> Boom. Now it's a burrito. Now add some ketchup on there. The mustard, you're good to go, yeah. buddy. Some black pepper? What is that? <laughs> it's not black pepper. What is that? I forget what it's called. It's like a seasoning. You can put on the rice and the meat. <laughs> Smashed <laughs> all the food. The well, we got a little bit to go. A little bit to go. Just like a little bit. But that's it, guys. Good day today. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. We'll be back soon. Sam, thank you for dinner, brother. Uh, well, thank you for yeah, having th me. Thank you, Sam. Thank you for having me. Thanks. All right, that's it, guys. We appreciate you guys following along, watching the videos, and most importantly, commenting, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell. It really helps our channel, and it gives us more motivation to keep putting out this content, and we love building the camaraderie in this community. Um, yeah, nothing but love, guys. We really appreciate you all, and until next time, you all know. <sighs> What is this? I didn't know he could hold me. He's gonna run. He's a track star. He's running. <laughs> <laughs> Here, come on. Jump on my back. Come on. All right, see you guys. <laughs>